Blessed to know the best. Oh my God, it's the pretty left hook. I'm your guy, Red Pretty Butler. Don't hate the pretties with an eye, because it means gritty, and we talking boxing, MMA, and everything pugilistic. Welcome to the Pretty Left Hook. I'm your man, Brett Pretty Butler, with all the fight knowledge you could ever want and more. I'm polarizing. I talk trash, and I get in that ass. You ready? Because I am. Let's go. Once again, it's on. It's your guy, Red Butler, with your Pretty Left Hook, hitting you in your goddamn liver. Oh, my God. I got my man today, El Haji Endower, straight from Senegal. Here from Brooklyn, though. What's up, my bro? Hey, what's up, brother? Good to see you, man. Good to see you, too. I'm Absolutely. So you have me here. Yes. I, I wanted to get you here. I wanted to get somebody from Karate Combat here, especially an athlete that's local. Because first and foremost, this thing has hit the scene. It's making waves. And a lot of folks are asking, who are the athletes? What's going on? What is this? It looks great. But... I wanted to speak to somebody, man, and find out what's going on. And they gave me you, which I've already seen. You've been wrecking fools, doing your thing. Mm -hmm. So first and foremost, before we get into karate combat and just the whole thing, talk a little bit about yourself. Um, I know you come from Senegal, but just talk about, you know, just who you are, where you came from. Well, uh, my name is Elijah Gaindur. Yes. Uh, they give me a nickname, the Black Magic. That's right. Which is, uh, I, since I was born, I just doing a magic thing, you know. Right. And, uh Oh, like actual magic? Actual magic. You know, <laughs> nice, things that nice. people okay. think is not possible, I make right. it possible, you know, to show everybody that anything is possible if I you love put that. the energy to it. Sure. So I was born in the little city of, of Kaolak in Senegal, okay. which is uh, like 150 kilometers from mm. Dakar, from the capital. Right. And I was born in the city and, uh, you know, start doing karate at the age of five, five years old. So. Wow. Yeah, since nice. then I never stopped. Uh, practicing karate. Awesome. So. Were you like other people that, you know, you might have seen the karate on TV, movies, martial arts, Bruce Lee, of course, and were influenced heavily? Well, uh, my city, it's the city of martial arts. And uh, wow. we have a world champion there, which is my sante who who taught me karate. He's a world champion. He's a karate world champion. Wow. As a little kid, you know, got a lot of energy and like to fight and uh, he, he, you know, he just told me that, you know what, mm -hmm. let me just bring this kid to the dojo. And he's, uh, you know, put some positive energy to him, you know, to right. try to make me, you know, install a, a discipline very early age, mm -hmm. <coughs> which is very important. Okay. And at uh, age of five, I start training and, you know, just grow up, see myself on the mm -hmm. mat and mm -hmm. like it, like, like what I'm doing, yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. Now you train Shotokan karate, correct? Yes, I'm a Shotokan world champion. Awesome. What? Why Shotokan? Was that what was available? Did you know other forms of karate, or and you just chose this one? Yeah, my my sensei who taught me karate is a Shotokan style. Okay. But uh, as an open mind, he he has learned all you know most different uh, a lot of different uh, form of karate, mm -hmm. which is there's the Shitoryu and Gujoryu. But uh, his base is uh, is a Shotokan. So. Mm. So I'm a, I'm a Shotokan, you know, Shotokan. Mm -hmm. My fundamental of martial art came from Shotokan. Okay. But I know a little bit about Shitoryu and Gujoryu. As an athlete, you guys are called karatekas? Yeah, karateka. Karateka. Karateka, okay. yes. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Do you think that, I mean, obviously mixed martial arts is huge right now. Mm -hmm. Do you think that, that there was a time mm -hmm. when karate was mm -hmm. like the top tier of mm -hmm. everything? There were mm -hmm. schools everywhere. Do you feel like now it's almost like a re-education of karate to the masses? Well, um, karate used to be a big, big, big deal. Huge. Yeah, yeah. He, he used to be big. And uh, when after all the league take over, like um, mixed martial arts and uh, UFC, of mm -hmm. course, and he literally, you know, put karate down. And mm. uh, But karate is still karate. Right. But with this uh, genius guy, Michael, who, yeah. like the CEO of Karate right. Kambak, he's a genius because... Right. This is that not many people can think how he think to bring back karate on life, right. like karate, calling karate comeback. Right. And first of all, I, I had competing like so many countries, you know, so many championships, faced to like every different kind of fighters on mm -hmm. karate. But uh, most of the competi karate competition, I got disqualified because of, 
you know, there's the yeah. semi-kanta. Okay. Semi-kanta karate that co- he called. Right. And that got me frustrated because it's not like, it doesn't sound good. You lose in the fight because you hit too hard. Right. <laughs> you oh, right, 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 right. You know, some people like, what So you basically of, winning, knocking people out, exactly. but it was like, you went too hard. Yes, you went too hard. And oh, you man. get, I got disqualified so many times in the championship. Recently, That's two years ago, yeah. two years ago, I was in, uh, in, um, in Poland. Mm. Compete for and the Shotokan World Championship. I was representing Team USA. First fight, I won Czech Republic. Second fight, I won Germany. Third wow. fight, I won Spain. And fourth fight, face to England, I punched this guy one punch. He <laughs> fell on the floor. He passed out. I got disqualified. And that was the fight what? that, yes, in the semifinal. Damn. In the semifinal. Just one punch, and the guy knocked out. Then they disqualified me. And most people, like, how can you doing sport fighting and then right. you knock the people out right. then you get disqualified right and it ain't your fault it, that you got heavy hands yes exactly exactly <laughs> you know but uh and after all that m- but michael just come from nowhere create this league right. call him a karate combat because i used to tell my dad i wanted to do the ufc the mixed martial art but my dad never let me do it he say mm-hmm. stick in karate because he doesn't really know about, you know, the mixed martial arts. He just okay. want me to do karate. Right. But the name of karate comeback, he 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 told me, yeah, why not doing it? Right. Just do it. So I see myself to do it. Nice. And uh, you know, the way I like in karate comeback is that they they take the like the karate technique, just the karate technique, but you go full contact like yeah. a real karate do. I saw that. You bloodied yeah. up my man's yeah. nose, McCallum. So, yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, you know, that's why I like it. I see myself in this league than any other league. Mm. I've been winning uh, so many championships. Right. I've been competing, like, l- recently last year, I did 18 countries. Wow. 18 different countries to do the, you know, do, do the qualify for the right. Olympic. Right. But uh, I don't really like it. Mm. I just see myself as a as a karate guy who, who, you know, who has to be free to hit hard and mm-hmm. punch hard and take a take hit too. And you said you were qualifying for the Olympics. So they have, I know this Taekwondo is huge in the Olympics, mm-hmm. so karate is as well. Yeah, karate, they they including karate in the Olympic last summer. Okay, okay, okay. So now we're doing the Olympic qualifications, right. which is taking place. This week there's a, a tournament in Dubai. I'm, I'm not able to go. Okay. And last two weeks ago there was a tournament, there was a qualification in Paris Open. I didn't mm. go because I chose to go to... Hollywood to do the karate comeback right. because making to the Olympic is really good, but you know I I have fun to do the karate comeback, so I choose to to do the karate comeback than the Interesting. Olympic qualification. Did you ever think that an organization that would allow full contact in karate would occur like this? I I've been waiting for it. Like I've been yeah. waiting for you know someone who make a new look. Mm-hmm. in karate because karate got to the point that everybody forget it everybody you know give them back you, yeah. you know you hear karate you like you hear nothing but right now right. i got so many followers i got so many people reach out to me to ask me about more about karate comeback which is people interesting to it right. because when you see the i was the first person the first competitor the first fight actually who fight on for the karate comeback it oh, was in budapest nice. so i did four fights Okay. And, and Budapest and uh, and K- in Karate Comeback League. So mm. here we are today, and people like it. People getting interested to, to, to karate now, and right. I'm getting so many people, you know, reach out to me to ask me more about Karate Comeback because it's a little bit different than the karate we we, 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 we we seeing in these days. Absolutely. Let's talk about the differences. Do you feel that a lot of karatekas are now evolving into this combat component, or do you feel like they're a little gun shy? Because there's people like you mm-hmm. that been waiting for this anyway. Mm-hmm. But uh, uh, there's some people, some karateka who are interesting to it. Because a lot of people, they want to do it. Especially, you know, the people that who, you know, who feel some type of way like me. Yeah. The real karateka, you know. Right. It's not about just punching people. It's about right. taking the punch, see how we feel, you know, mm-hmm. and then you keep moving forward. And mm-hmm. I see so many, I I saw so many people and I got so many, you know, requests to mm-hmm. ask about, you know, interesting to, to join the league. And I know this league is going to, is going to be, you know, it's going to be a great league. Nice. Yes. Talk about the fans, like the folks that come to the tournaments and are used to that. Do you see them now excited about karate combat? Do you see any kind of um, pullback from people that are like, you guys are advancing the sport in ways I don't like. I mean, what are, what are the fans saying? Yeah, the the, the fan, the karate fan, they always want 
some karate. Been, you know, they don't want too. they show. Nice. You know, they want okay. some show because yeah. I, again, sport fighting, right. you have to hit right. and karate combat, man. Yeah. Man, yeah, it's fast. Yeah, it's fast it's, pace. Yeah, it's fast, and you know, it's it's very interesting to watch. Right, Not right. just watch the video, but if you on the show, right. and you see, you hear how the technique, the kicks, the punches, right. and like landing, you're right. like, wow, this is cool because we don't use to see that on uh, in regular karate. Mm. Yeah. Now, talk about the gloves and stuff. Just like the technical things. What what kind of um, ounces are the gloves? Is it like MMA gloves, four ounces? Like what is it? Yes, it's it's like MMA gloves, but okay. uh, the way they design it is very comfortable. Yeah, it, and it, I saw there's like a covering, so it's not yeah. like open fingers. No, 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 it's it's, uh, it's covering, but there's an open finger just just the, your front finger, so okay. you can you know you can tie your hand very tight, oh. like back in the day the karate before. Right. Because karate before they have the those gloves and right. uh, those are the gloves that my son say used to compete when he win the world champion. Mm. So th- those are the glove they bring it back the design is very good and very comfortable nice. and if he hit someone you feel like you know he you got feel it. yeah you feel it and if he so, so basically it's the same weight everything it was like mma gloves pretty much yes it, it, it so is so it's full contact it, for real. yes it is and and full oh, contact right. and they now allow elbows like knees you know they uh, keep it like a real good technique clean technique that okay. you know because in MMA and uh, UFC, there's no, right. you know, many kids they don't want to see it because very, they say it's too dangerous. But Got in it. karate combat, right. they don't, they take off the elbow, the knees, all those things that you know is gonna make it look like the other leg. Sure. They they just allow the karate techniques, which right. is the strength and uh, leg. So straight kicks. punch yeah, kicks. Yeah, straight punch right. kicks. Yeah, and hooks. Mm. Yeah. Sanctioning body is with the ISKA. Uh, yes. Okay. And yes. Do you guys do like the same thing as as other fighters, medicals and all. Yes, the medical is because the way they doing the league, the way the league doing the thing is like very different from the other crowd because okay. they make you a professional. They you make sure they have all your medical record. They right. they they make sure you're healthy enough to to fight to fight in this league. Yeah. Talk about the fighting pit. Is that new? I mean, I love the way it looked. Mm-hmm. I like the platform that you guys jumped down. Mm-hmm. Is that something new to the game, or is that typical even in a tournament style? I, I, yes, it's it's really new. Okay, it's, you don't you you don't see some kind of you know right. fighting like yeah. there's no way you right. see this, and that's the reason why I call Michael is a genius because the way he he think the way he make that pit is just just special because. Right. Uh, many people can see it, but when you enter in the pit, you right. feel like, especially me, because every time I, ju- I enter in the pit, I jump. There is no way to skip. Right. I'm not going to back down, right. and I know my opponent is not going, he's not going nowhere. It's going to be mine. He's going to stay in the pit, right. and whoever going to beat himself, beat the other person, beat it. Nice. So I, I like the way the pit is, and uh, and like 45 degree angle, it's, mm-hmm. it's, it's really cool. What's the surface like? Is it is it like super soft? Is it more of a mat? Yeah, it's like it's like a mat. Okay. You know, it's like mat, like the the karate competition mat. It's like it's like that. They just cover nice. it with a uh, with a tissue that you know you don't right. you don't feel like so you don't sink into it. No, it's no, just, no. Okay. It's it's, it's very firm. comfortable. Nice. Yes, and and the public has more 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 space to see because it's not like the fans mm-hmm. or like from a uh, cage. It's mm-hmm. not it's not cage because everybody can see it from no matter where you're sitting. You can right. see you can stay see the show. So it's pretty good. I want to talk about the Hollywood event. Uh-huh. Obviously, there were some additions like Danny Trejo, yeah. Machete mm-hmm. himself was acting as the ring announcer. It was kind of cool. Like he was on the screen yeah. and he showed up. Boss Rutan's doing commentary. Yeah. You had Roxy Diaz on the red carpet. Talk about just what that event was like. Did it feel like a step up for the whole karate game? Uh, yeah, the Hollywood event is just make a big impact on the on karate comeback because yeah. all the superstar of karate were there. Okay, uh, Lyoto Motida were right. there. All the those, dragon. all yes, all yeah. those uh, you know, all those big names in karate, you right. know, in movie they were there. And uh, knowing all the you know they watching you, you know, he is <laughs> yeah, another yeah, motivation. Yeah, yeah. And I remember finishing the fight and Machida come up to me, he grabbed my shoulder, he said, How old are you? That's the first thing he asked me. Right. I told him I just turned ten. He's like, Wow, man, yo, you look good on the on that pit, man. You look good. And that that touched him in my heart because I remember being a young kid, you know, looking at the T V C Machida. Right. I'm like, one day I wanna be like this person. Wow. And that's the person who came up to me and asking, you know, interesting to to know me, which is right. which is very, very interesting. That's big. Yes. It's who were some of your heroes in karate? Uh, my hero is uh, Michael J. 
Michael J. White. Yes, oh, Michael J. White. Okay. It's, I've been watching his movies and nice. I have a dream to be, you know, to make a right. movie did like he, that. Did he go to the event in Hollywood? No, he didn't come. Okay, but okay. I wish you were there. You yeah, know, I yeah, wish yeah. to meet him one day. And, uh, yeah, Michael J. White's official. It, yes, it's, it's, it's a great uh, martial art artist and uh, he loves what he's doing and, uh, and he's, 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 uh, he's someone that who inspired me a lot. Big time. So, yeah. Nice. Yeah. I know Karate Combat, like when I saw the Hollywood one, it was awesome. It was like a nice club show. But I've seen ones when they were in Roman Coliseums and mm-hmm. all this. Just talk about just the other scenes that this is put in. Because clearly they try to make this super gladiator style. Mm-hmm. Like Hollywood was way more like, like I said, it was definitely a Hollywood event. Mm-hmm. But I've seen the other ones in other countries mm-hmm. where it seemed like they were going throwback to like Roman times. Time, yeah. What was that like, man? Yeah, and uh, the one they did in Budapest, that was the very first event, and they were okay. trying to adopt uh, you know, the rules and stuff. Sure. And the second one, I didn't fight. Oh, no, the second one was in Miami, which is our fight. Okay. I fought, and okay. I won. Then after they did the one in uh, in Greece, mm. in, uh, in Athens, and uh, that was very good. The fighter was there. They loved the you know, Yeah, that the was place, nice. That was, yeah. that was really cool. Like the Pantheon. And, yes. Right. That was really cool. And the one they did in the World Tra- uh, One World in New York, I fought right. there also, and that was that was very good because they mm. picking these these uh, places that you know you never think that you know some some event some sport event gonna happen there, and right. they make it, right. and they make it happen. They make it look very very cool. And some people think you know it's like a show, and right. it's, it's not a show. It's a reality. <laughs> right. They're like, right. oh, this is a movie. This is a makeup. Right. It is not a makeup. It's a reality because I fought there. Mm. I I fought and right now I'm the ranking number one in the world and nice. the heavyweight. Nice. Because I win all my three matches. Right. So all my three fight. And, and the heavyweight limit is two oh five. Yeah, two uh, two oh five. Yes. Wow, and there's a super okay. heavyweight. There's a there's a people uh, who fighting on the on the division above. But uh, okay. Yes. Interesting. So, and but I like it as a. As a young kid, you know, growing up on the country like Senegal, you mm-hmm. know, you, you, you have to, you need to know how to fight, right. otherwise you are not going to make it. Because, <laughs> right. yeah. And uh, you have to be fearless. You yeah. have to be fearless to, uh, to survive in the street of Senegal. Because mm. there's a really cool people, but, you know, there's a lot of bullying. So mm. A lot of bullying. As a little kid, I remember the first time I fought in school was, uh, was when I was in, uh, when I was 10. When I was 10 years old, because after after I start doing martial art, my karate, doing a competition, my sensei told me, "Do not fight on the, do not fight on the street. You don't learn this to fight." Right. And I got some people, you know, start bullying me in school because I was a uh, like little kid, like to ask questions for the right. the teacher, you know, like to talk, and um, they 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 don't like that. They don't like me to be the kid that like act like the smartest kid in the class. Gotcha. They don't like that. Yeah. And uh, while going home, they always, you know, you know, trying to bully me. Mm-hmm. I go tell my sensei, and since they told, do not fight. You don't learn the martial art to, you know, to to fight like that. Mm-hmm. It's not everybody wanna fight you. You need to fight them back. Some right. fight one fight needed. Right. But uh, there's a one day I, <laughs> right. I got enough. So it's that know? one day. Yes, one day <laughs> I got enough. Yeah. You know, they they were talking mad shit on <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> the class. So. And my way, my way to to the dojo. Mm-hmm. I got my pack, pack my way to the dojo, and you know those three guys just run up to me and grab me. But three of them, three of them. And uh, I remember I still got this scratch on my uh, on my hand. Wow. That's his teeth. And two of them lose their teeth, and one of them run. Don't fuck with my man so, Alaji, bro. <laughs> he yeah, said I still so, got the scar from his teeth. Yep, yeah, and. Uh, <laughs> You know, Got it. And and since then, you know, they they suspend me in the school for a week right. because you know the guy lose all his ten. And now, right now, he's my best friend in Senegal. Are you serious? <laughs> yes. Because yeah, after crazy. that, he lost his teeth, and uh, you know they complained to the school. Yeah. I was fighting with them, but they never say that is. They jumped yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. They jumped me, but they were <laughs> never gonna do it again. And uh, wow. Yeah. That, that you said you were ten years old. Yes, I was ten years old. Damn. And, yeah, they were they were one year older than me, and you know very big guy because I was right. a little boy on the right. in my class. So. Wow. Yeah, those are the those are the time that uh, I really te- I really know that martial art has something to do because mm. he make me a fearless person. I I don't sure. fear for nothing. I take decision. I have the discipline of getting done. Everything need to get done. I mm. get it done, and the time he need to be done. Right. So that's that's a good thing that in uh, in martial art. 
Man. Yeah. So, that's and that's crazy. when I try to uh, teach the kids and my student. I, I have my own karate school in West Hampstead. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, and uh, uh, I have five uh, athletes, you know, a junior athlete. they in the Team USA. That's awesome. You know, they won the national last year, and they're in the Team USA right now. Wow. So I'm taking them to the Olympic qualification last year. We went to Cancun, and three athletes, one half gold and two half a silver medal. That's huge, so, man. What are the, and what are the age ranges of the kids that you teach? Yeah, I I have a kid like they start age of three because it's nice. never too never too early right. to to start karate. Sure, you know, and it's, it's never too late also because there's no age limit and there's no age to start. Sure. So it's it's age it's, it's limited. You know, you can start karate at any age, and uh, you know, and he's gonna help you a lot for your for the discipline, for the sure. self confidence. Right. And all those things, uh, you know, karate building in the person, I, I felt it. Mm. Yeah. So. I want to ask you a question about fans, the public, and understanding, right? So for a long time, it took the public a while to understand MMA. When I say understand, meaning... And still. They, yeah, still. <laughs> they didn't still. know what they were seeing. Yeah, it's still, still it's yeah. confusing. You had politicians that used to say... This is barbaric, mm -hmm. to your point. Mm -hmm. You had people, um, moms, that used to say, I don't want my kid to even see something like this. It's bloody, it's crazy, it's a mess. But at some point, the education sunk in and they realized it's a bunch of styles that became cohesive. Mm -hmm. Karate stands alone, I'm assuming, and yes, it's yes, as it, one style. It does, it does. Do you think now that people have sort of adjusted to the multi-format of MMA that they're going to be able to readjust in enough time where karate combat takes hold in the same way, I'll say in America. Yes, if karate combat keep the same rule they have, it's gonna be something that interesting to watch. You know why? Because it's not complicated. Yeah, it's not. It's, it's not complicated. If you know right. karate, and it's, like and I told you, karate you can start from any age. That's true. Right? right, but MMA. Most people they don't allow their kids to watch right. MMA, but they right. can watch karate. That's they right. can do karate. So, right. and the way they they doing the karate combat rules mm. is is the karate techniques. There is mm. no something that something like gonna make a lot of blood. You can watch karate combat. You can feel a few blood, sure. but not a lot. Sure. You can see. Any event, you can see three, four, five knockout, mm. but that people get knocked out, he can go even party last tomorrow. <laughs> right, because, right. <laughs> because, you know, the, the, the technique, how, the, how fast is the technique, you know, right. way, the, you know, the target, how they target the, 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 the power of the technique can knock you down mm. and you get back up later, like right. there's nothing wrong with you. So that's, that's why I say if they keep it in the same rule, mm -hmm. And none al don't allow the elbows and uh, and knees, mm -hmm. and I think it's gonna be it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be understandable mm -hmm. than than other than other other style like mixed martial arts. What's the average age of a lot of these guys, the it, the karatekas? I mean, they you must be eighteen mm -hmm. to compete in it, but there's no age limit. Oh, okay, <laughs> there's no age limit for now. Got it. So, but. All, most of these fighters, because they they not just allowed all karate cut in the league, mm -hmm. they picking all these you know the, all these fighters have a base of you know karate competition sure. knowledge. Sure, tournaments, and tournaments. Yeah, 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 yes. absolutely. Yes, because uh, myself and uh, the guy I fought, Robert Callum from uh, Scotland, I fought yep. in Hollywood. Yeah. He's a three-time European champion. Wow. You know, he's a one-time world champion and three-time European champion. And that guy been competing in all the major league in the karate. Wow. So, and myself also. So, and all these guys competing in this league is, right. you know, is a people that, is a fighter that who has a knowledge. Yeah, of and you handled Rob yeah. Callum. I'm not trying to be funny, yeah. but you definitely gave him the business. Yeah, he has more experience than I do in karate mm. because... Uh, but not the combat component. Yeah, not the, not the karate yeah, combat because yeah. the paid I'm a... I'm Yo, you was in there. You went pain. in. Yes, yeah. I'm the king of the pain at the uh, pit, and I'm very jealous in the pit. I don't, I don't want to share it with no one. I see. <laughs> you know, I want to be the right. king of the pain. So, and I'm fearless. I don't have, I don't have, I don't fear for no one. Mm. I have no fear for no one. That's awesome. Yeah, because that cultivated in me uh, since I was since I was a little kid. Sure. Like right. people used to try to scare me in the dark, you know, in, in Africa. You know, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm, I remember mm -hmm. one day we were. I went to my village, where's mm -hmm. my uh, grandfather from, mm -hmm. and uh, we we hear these noises, like the animal, like mm -hmm. noises. Ooh. 
like the irons and the the tigers you know sometimes you, oh, you wow. hear yeah you hear they 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 noise is very far right and uh and i and i go outside to just see where are them and in the dark you and heard the noises yes, and you went outside yes i went outside to see it because okay <laughs> that, that's that's the point because i think fear fear has has no place in my heart i nice. don't i'm not fear for nothing nice. and sometimes i feel like this is kind of dangerous to have no fear because i don't i don't you know think i have mm-hmm. to be mm-hmm. fear for this thing not even 1% right. and i got i got outside to see you know to check the noise and one of my cousin come behind me trying to scare me <laughs> when he tried to scare me he grabbed me i turned with the spinning hook kick on his head oh! <laughs> <laughs> won't do that again came down <laughs> <laughs> came down and he screaming like oh he's me he's me i'm like oh you're trying to scare me i thought I mean, he's a lion <laughs> yes your fault <laughs> yes it's your fault and <laughs> if the lion come out or the tiger that's 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 the kick he's gonna get so wow. he got it because that's he crazy. was trying to scare me and uh, uh my reaction is that go forward right so that's yo it's funny like off topic mm-hmm. recently in colorado mm-hmm. A guy was jogging, mm-hmm. and a mountain lion attacked him. I saw, you saw that? that. Yeah, I saw and he that. He choked him <laughs> yes, out. He choked him out. He choked yes. out the mountain lion yes. and killed it. Uh huh. And killed with it. his bare hands, bro. Yep. yep. This is real facts. Yep. Shout out to Ohaji for his yep. styles, because you know what I'm saying. If you mess with him, he'll yes. probably give it to you like that. Yes. Yeah, so uh, because <laughs> that guy it's has facts. no fear, because yeah. he, you know fear is a choice. You right. choose to be fear for anything. Right. I choose not to fear for nothing. Right. Nothing and no one. That's what I'm talking so about. So no one in front of me. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yes, it's just in my way, and right. you have to get out of my way. So I want to talk about the motherland, Africa, because what I've noticed in conversations I have, and I talk to people across all combat spectrums, boxing, MMA, kickboxing, even bodybuilding. Mm-hmm. And the one thing I've noticed, everybody looks at Africa as the last frontier in relation to finding athletes mm-hmm. and developing a market to sell fights. Mm-hmm. What do you think about that? You said you come from a place where there's a lot of fighters. Mm-hmm. Do you think that these guys are going to st- um, recognize the opportunities or even be given the opportunities to showcase themselves on bigger levels? And that, that goes by country, obviously. Because mm-hmm. um, I know Ghana has a huge boxing population. Mm-hmm. You know, shout out to um, Joshua Clotty, all those guys from boxing. Mm-hmm. But do you think as a continent, that region's going to start getting a lot more exposure? Because if clearly we had tremendous fights with Rumble in the Jungle and all this stuff from Muhammad Ali's era. Mm-hmm. But it seems like recently hasn't really been like a huge push, but the fighters we know are there. Mm-hmm. And we know the market is there. There's mm-hmm. a lot of people. Mm-hmm. What do you think about that? And in any any sport, yeah. you need an athletic person to do to do that sport. That's right. And we <laughs> we were born to be athletic. Natural. You know, sure. natural. Everything is everything there is like is is it's it's sport. Yeah. Everything. Right. Everything is sport. And right. people they are like have the energy. This yeah. energy. Not just fight, mm. but any other sport. Mm. And the nutrition we, we have in here, like they say the science making some uh some research is here to make the athlete who living in Europe or living in America mm-hmm. to be more athletic. <laughs> but you know, you can <laughs> invent in that person. Right. Ten thousand years, and he will never gonna develop to be a, a athlete like the like like the African born right. guys there. Right. You know, they 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 naturally athletic. They mm. have the mental of of competitor right. because there's a lot of compi- lot of competition there. Sure. Not just to uh, not just compete with other, but compete for yourself because mm. it's it's really like underground. You have sure. to be you have to push yourself in in order for the people to see you. Mm-hmm. So that's uh that's that's the first thing. And any athletic athletic field, mm-hmm. you, you must be a uh, you must have that mentality in order to be in the top and that's top. right. Because you have to be like, oh I wanted to be the number one. You gotta in be Africa, yeah. if you don't have that you won't no one gonna know you. Right. For example, I had a dream to stay to come to New York. Mm. And my journey begins in in uh, in Kowak, which is I cross the whole world right. by myself. Wow. As a kid, I I was born in Kaulak, which mm-hmm. is in, in the third capital of Senegal. Okay. Then I moved to Dakar. How I moved to Dakar is my study. Mm-hmm. And I I started in Kaulak and moved to Dakar to want to continue study in sport to mm-hmm. do the karate. I came to the Dakar University Club, Shehanta Job, mm-hmm. which is I, I uh, follow my uh, my study and mm-hmm. compete. 
Then I came, I came to Barcelona, mm. which is when I came to Barcelona, I have one of my sons say, he said that, uh, he told me, Elaji, your name has to be known by, by the whole world. Right. And where you are right now in Senegal is a little, 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 little city on, and, and compared to all the city, big city, mm. you need, you must go to the big city, right. do something that, because what are you doing here? Right. And because there's a lot of talent like you, right. you are not going to be the one to shine. Right. But you need to go somewhere that you need to do something. There's no many people do it, so you're going to shine it like no one else. Mm. And he told me that my name and what I have and what I'm able to do is not just staying in one country. Right. You, you must travel. Right. I say, okay, so I'm going to go to Spain. I didn't know Spanish. I didn't right. know Catalan. I moved to Spain and, you know, go to my uncle, tell him I want to study here. He's like, study, but you must learn the language. I'm like, yeah, I can learn it. <laughs> so I went to Barcelona for two years. Mm -hmm. I speak Catalan mm. and Spanish. Wow. Then one day I say, uh, I need to go to New York, mm -hmm. you know, to visit how New York is. Mm -hmm. And I came here, I visit here, and I see like... Specifically New York. New York. Yeah. And I came <laughs> to visit, I'm like, huh, this is look like a land of opportunity. Yeah. I'm like, okay, so I just want to live here. And first, when I came to New York, I didn't even speak English. What? Back in 2011. Wow. I didn't speak English. And right now I speak seven languages. Wow. Because man. of traveling and challenging myself for, you know, don't limit myself. Right. And I came to New York and start competing, mm -hmm. competing in karate and win every single tournament in the United States. Every wow. tournament. That's huge. I won New York Open for four times in the road. Won Chicago Open four times. Won uh, U.S. Open two times. Right. Won Miami Open three times. Right. And won national two times, national championship. That's huge, man. And uh, where the the black magic started in in New and uh, in Chicago, okay. which is that competition is every year mm -hmm. on uh, on November. Mm -hmm. So I go there. When I go there, the first time I go there, I won. No one know me. And the second year I go there, I hear one of the guys, his name is uh, Brian Ramram. Ram. He's mm. like, oh, man, this is magic. <laughs> and this is magic. Everybody start cheering me. Go magic, go magic. Because the way I'm making the show on the mat, they, right. they don't use it to see a fighter who make like that. Right. So that's what where, that's where they st started. And uh, when Karate Comeback signed me up, they asked me their nickname. I'm like, why not Black Magic? Love you know, it. I'm right. black and I'm proud to be a black, you know, and that's doing right. a magic thing. So that's, right. that's where the Black Magic come from. Yeah, I love this, man. I love yeah. the pride that you have, and I love the way you've just made your own life happen. Mm -hmm. um, and there's a huge Senegalese community in New York City, too. Yes. By the way, I love Senegalese food. <laughs> we'll put that out oh, there right man. now. Oh, man, okay. Senegalese food. Whoever try it, you will go yeah. back. Mixed with the French and yes. all that. Like, it's just it's, it's so good, man. Yeah, yeah. Wow. What impact mm -hmm. do you want to have on the world with your talents in karate? I wanted to be a well-known athlete. Especially in karate field, a lot of people know me, but it's not enough yet. Okay. But karate come back, give me opportunity to more, more people going to know me because a lot of people, they're interested in to karate come back. So mm -hmm. I want to be the top athlete in the world. Right. In the field of karate come back. Right. So I'm working seven days a week, mm -hmm. training myself, pushing myself harder than no one else. Thank you. So, and I know that impact is going to come. It's right. going to come. And I want to be the best in the world. So, nice. yes. Typically, the word heavyweight in any combat sport mm -hmm. is the most revered division. Mm -hmm. Everybody looks at the heavyweights. Yes. Right now, are you the number one heavyweight in relation to how the rest of the karate world is looking at the man to beat? Is that you? Yes. And because karate combat, they... Is they have the same weight class as the other karate karate tournament. Okay. And I'm the heavyweight. And I'm the one that who went all my three fights right. on the road. Right. So I'm the number one in the world right now, and I want to be the number one. Mm. And whoever want to be a number one, right. you're going to have passed by me. And passing by me was not going to be easy. I don't think no one going to suggest you to pass with that, <laughs> to mess right. with that black magic. So nice. I, I, I will do all I take. I'll, you know, all he take to be a state of number one in the world. And I make, yeah. want to make a history. Is there a karate combat title? In the future? They, they are in the future. They okay. say it in the future. Okay. Yes. How long do you think, like, how many fights do you think you're going to have to go through to finally actually fight for, like, a belt? Well, there's not, they don't start it yet. Okay. So there's not, you know, there's not specific 
you know, mm -hmm. fight you have to do to, to take it. Mm -hmm. But maybe it's going to come soon. Okay. It's going to come soon, and uh, I need that belt. That yeah, belt is know. mine. Nice. Yeah, that, that belt is mine. So it's already mine. They don't make it yet, but it's already mine. So Let's talk sponsorship. Do you feel um, that you're getting any responses back? Does Karate Combat allow you guys to, you know, have sponsors and all that kind of stuff? Like, what's the economics in terms of the business for you as well as it grows? Well, uh, for the for the sponsor, they they not you know they they not stopping people to sponsor us to help us That's to awesome. you know to make uh, you know because you know the UFC is like yeah, it's big. cutting people's money yes it's, it's, yeah it, yeah UFC is big and right. uh, now they you know stopping the artists right. getting their own sponsor right. they want you to uh, they want you to uh, use their sponsor That's right. and you know they taking interest to it right. which is I'm not against that it's, yeah, yeah. it's their business sure. you know whoever accept it and do it you know is your own business mm -hmm. but Karate Comeback does it uh, does it stop us for wearing any other thing we want but That's on the awesome. event, they want we wear karate combat event, uh, right. um, karate combat equipment. Of course, is right. is normal because it's a new league. I know you guys got the clear water shoe. Yes, and all the clear water shoe. We 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 had it in uh, in Hollywood, mm -hmm. which is I never hear about it. Right. I yeah, never yeah, hear yeah. about it until uh, you know Andrews uh, asks me, uh, uh, "What size are you?" and send me mm -hmm. the website. I'm like, well, <laughs> I, I, I never I never know about right. it. I never knew about it, but. I'm like I go went to the website. Right. Uh, seriously, I didn't like all the shoes there. Okay. Because I got used to like Nike yeah, and yeah, all these course. big names, you know. But I'm like, oh yeah, let me just pick one. Right. You know, I picked this one. But oh, and nice. and the night of the fight, they bring it to us. Right. Like when I wear the shoes, I didn't want to take it off. I yeah. just want to fight with the shoes. It, was, <laughs> right. it feels so comfortable and oh, my look good too. yes. It looked good and my feet like very comfortable in it. Like yeah, the the way they make the the material, like yeah, 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 yeah. You adapt your sh your your, it your light your, too. Your, yeah, it's light yeah. and your feet like very quickly. I like that, and, bro. And and I do like it. And uh, whoever designed it, he right. did a great job. Yes. See, I like that kind of stuff because it's it's showing a culture. Yes. That karate combat's creating for the athletes, which then bleeds out into the public. Mm -hmm. That's very important. Mm -hmm. What impact do you think karate combat's going to have on the world of sports? Not even combat sports, just sports. Because when you look at football, mm -hmm. when you look at um, basketball athletes, a lot of them are now training with mixed martial artists. Mm -hmm. We see these guys in the gym all the time. Do you think that karate combat will have um, a training, will, will expose the training mechanisms of you guys where other athletes will start taking notice and saying, you know what, maybe I need to start training karate to help me with my particular sport, even if it's not combat sports. Mm -hmm. Yes, it, 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 it will. Yeah, it it will because the reason why is that where they every event they having sure oddly they come from all five continents, all five continents. Wow. They they always you know make a universal right. to other people interesting to it. For example, if anybody fighting from Africa in UFC, every all African people are gonna be, oh right, wow, I'm, right. I'm with this guy. Right. Asia the same, America right. the same, you know, and Europe the same. When they see a fighter coming from Greece or from a friend, they're mm -hmm. like, oh man, I need to support that guy. So everybody interesting to uh, to that event. Sure. And that's why um, I think it's gonna be uh, it's gonna make a big impact in the sport, not mm. just in in in, uh, in in fighting, but in the whole sport. Because again, athlete are friend of all the athlete. Right. You know, no matter what what sport you do, you have all the friend and people interesting to it. For example, I when I have a fight, mm -hmm. I have so many friends doing all the sport in Africa, doing all the sport in Europe, contacting me, you know, say, oh, yo, you got this body, you know, mm -hmm. let's go Black Magic, I, you know, I'm with you. Right. So they're interesting to it. And the other, the cool thing on Karate Comeback is that the they app, the application, mm -hmm. they app, you can, you can, you can able to, you know, to watch the fight on live on your phone, which is, and it's free. That's crazy. You know, you yeah, watch, no, no, karate, it's, it's karate. Free. Com, yeah. yeah, exactly. It's right. free. And you, you, you are not going to see that for a lot of sport have their yeah, own app and you can watch all. the karate on, on live. And people can be in the competition and the people can be anywhere in the world and able to watch if they have the internet. That's watch the Watch the karate comeback. So it's not just in karate. It's, right. it's like one, it's the sport that everybody interested into it. You get a lot of support back from home? <laughs> yes. That they're watching and everything? Yes, I do. What's some of the feedback you get from back home? Uh, the love never changes. It, it's mm -hmm. always grow. Yes. <clears throat> the most you far back home, right. The most you you know Africa, the importance yeah. of Africa. Beautiful. When you go back there, you feel like you feel like you never left. 
Mm. And people they show you the love, showing the show you the the support you need, like the moral support you need. Right. There's no way like Africa. Right. Yes. How often do you get to go home? Uh, I was there on last uh, last September in the Beautiful. African Championship. Beautiful. I went to Senegal, then go there, go to Kigali, okay. to Rwanda for the African Championship in September. But I always go back home. That's awesome. You know to you know to 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 feel the fuel yeah. because you know. I'm nothing right. without Africa, so right. I love I love Africa. That's what I'm talking so. about. Do you still um, compete in tournaments too, or is it all karate combat now? I stay competing in, uh, in, in karate tournament, the nice. Olympic qualification. I start doing it because mm -hmm. the thing is that in order to uh, in order to help people in that field, you must experience that. Mm. Because right now I'm doing the Olympic qualification, mm. and uh, to qualify in the Olympic, like. It's it's really hard. It's not just I can winning. Imagine, yeah. Yes, it's it's really hard. And I have a student, and I have so many young athletes mm -hmm. depending on me. Right. <clears throat> so for me to able you know able to grab their hand to bring them to the qualify them to the Olympic, I must know how he feel to be in the qualify. Mm. That's why I continue to do it until I never gonna be give up until the until you know they decide who's gonna qualify for the Olympic. Right. And uh, you know and. To know it, to have the experience, because I want, even I don't compete in the Olympic, mm -hmm. but I want my student able to win an Olympic champion, of to course. be an Olympic champion. Right. And if they win an Olympic champion, I, I'm going to feel like I won the Olympic champion. I love it, man. Yes. Good stuff. When's the next time uh, folks will see you fight? I hope soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I Absolutely. hope soon. You know, I'm training. I'm, I'm training every day and waiting for, you know, they contact me, say, you know, Magic, we want you to fight. And you know, Magic will fight everybody. Awesome. <laughs> Anybody awesome. in my weight class, I right. will fight them. So we love it. Yes. Oh, Haji Nadar, thank you for coming through, my friend. You're Where can people find you on social media? Are you on Instagram and Facebook and all this good stuff? Y yes, you can follow me on Instagram is E G N Karate mm -hmm. or Facebook e Elijah Gaindur. Right. Or in my own school is the E G N International Karate and Fitness Center. Nice. And uh, located in four nine one Hempstead Turnpike, West Hempstead. Awesome. So yeah, bring any language. He's ready for you. Yes, any language. <laughs> I speak. I speak seven different languages. Sometimes so people about. look at me like, "How can you speak all right. this?" I'm like, "Anything is possible." That's right. You know, anything is possible, and I don't, I don't have I don't have problem to go to Italy because I speak Italian, Italian, right. uh, Spain. I go to Barcelona, speak s Catalan like <laughs> like right. the people who live there. Right. And Spanish, same thing. French, right. you know, I'm a French colonization. Of course, I I have to speak French, but uh, in nice. English also. So, and uh, any some 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 other language from uh, from Africa. So I love it. Yeah. Yeah. So. Next time I'm going through East Harlem or Dykeman Street, I'm with Nah Haji. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get yeah. my Kushi Frito right. <laughs> Why don't you? Yes. This is that pretty left hook hitting you in your goddamn liver. Thank you, Nahaj. Oh, sa. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Rate, comment, subscribe, and like Pretty Left Hook on SoundCloud and iTunes.